Every year since 2002, we have watched Lake Mead shrink each year, hoping it was just a fluke. But now 20 years later, we know it's not. It's a 20-year drought. Fortunately, while many of us may have just hoped it would fix itself, there were smart folks who were already at work preparing for the worst. That The Southern Nevada Water Authority produces a 50-year water resource plan every single year. And that resource plan takes population projections that we receive from UNLV's Center for Business and Economic Research. We take that population projection and we convert that to a water demand. That then allows us to get a very good look over the next half century of what our water demands are expected to be based on what our population growth is projected to be. Those population projections have been spot on. We continue to grow, but thanks to ironclad plans on how to deal with a severe water shortage, we're doing what skeptics thought was the impossible. Since this drought started in 2002, two decades ago, our community has reduced its consumption of water from Lake Mead by 26%. Yet our community during that same time period has grown in population by more than 750,000 people. That's a nearly 50% increase in our population during that two decade period. Today we are supplying less water to more people than we did 20 years ago. Granted, our successful conservation was driven by strict allocations on the amount of water we can take from the Colorado River. Right now, Southern Nevada is allocated 300,000 acre feet of water. In 2023, due to the continued drought, that allocation will be reduced to 275,000 acre feet. But here's the good news. Thanks to water conservation practices our community has gotten on board with, we have learned to live with less, even less than the 275,000 will be allowed. Water use last year was 242,000 acre feet, and we are on track this year to use that much water, if not less, going forward. So our community has been preparing for these shortages for two decades. This is why we have implemented aggressive conservation programs so that we could be prepared to do that over a 20 year time period, rather than trying to make all of these cuts and all of these conservation decisions uh, on, the, on the flip of a dime. Conservation programs such as strictly limiting outside watering. In 2003, development codes prohibited any new homes from having front yard grass. And more recently, grass in backyards has been banned as well. Commercial development is also not allowed to have grass. So new construction today uses 50% less water than existing development. While that may sound like a drop in the bucket, keep in mind the emphasis is on outdoor watering because water used outdoors is lost forever. Water used indoors is 100% recycled. If it goes down a drain in your home, whether that's the sink, the laundry, the shower, regardless, as long as it makes its way into the wastewater collection system, all of that indoor water use is reclaimed, treated to clean water standards, and recycled back to Lake Mead through the Las Vegas wash. So our indoor water use is like a perpetual motion machine. It's water that we continue to be able to use over and over again. We can live on less water. We've proven that for 20 years, but it is a community-wide effort. We can all do our part. Here's how. The number one thing that you can do is eliminate your grass. If you have grass at your home and the only time that you walk on it is when you're pushing the lawn mower, that is grass that is considered to be decorative. It is a non-functional grass and it is just drinking our water supply. Trade in green for green. Apply at snwa.com for a rebate of $3 for every square foot of grass you remove. Secondly, change your watering clock four times a year to meet seasonal watering schedules. Three days a week in the spring and fall, one day a week in the winter, and any day in the summer except Sundays, and never between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. And when we get free water from Mother Nature, just turn your watering system off altogether for a couple of days. Adjusting your system can save you up to $300 a year on your water bill. And finally, remember, we're all in this together, and no one wants to fail. The other thing that I would say is keep in mind that everybody in Southern Nevada that is working on water issues, that is helping to manage regional water supplies and make decisions, we're all Southern Nevadans too. We're invested in this community just as much as you are. Our goal is to manage those water resources so that we can continue to enjoy the quality of life that every Southern Nevadan has come to know.